Welcome back to my channel guys. Hey, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, I have not done one of these and I have thought about doing it for a while because I have been getting these for a little while, but I really wanted to see if I really enjoyed them first and made it like a solid decision if I was gonna continue to get them. And I absolutely am going to continue. And so I've decided what better time than Halloween because it is like my absolute favorite holiday. And so, or I should say time of the year. So I've decided to start ordering Ipsy, which is a $10 glam bag every month, and you get five samples in each bag. Um, and there's a lot of times they're really small, which is great because of course they're just sample size. So I really enjoy being able to try out new products, especially being that I'm learning about beauty and makeup and skincare and hair care. Um, and so I decided that yes, I'm gonna continue to get the Ipsy. And so here for, October, we have the Ipsy Black Magic bag. So this is what they send you and it tells you a couple of different things on the back. Um, and this one says, hey boo, we've got some tricks and treats up our sleeves. Three ways to get into the magic at ipsy.com slash glam bag. Um, so they tell you about the different things about the story behind how this bag was created. So this is the bag you get this on this delivery. I think it is super cute. I'm going to be carrying this around the rest of October. As you can see, it has this cute little, let's see if I can get it to quit swinging first, this cute little ghost. And the ghost has like little heart eyes on it. And on the back it says, Ipsy, Ipsy, I think it says Valfe, but yes. So, Yep, and it's really, really cute. And it's got little things on here. One of them says, whatever. And then it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, goodbye. And it's really cute. So I love it. I love the spell book thing, magic potion, all the cute little things that are on there. So something I've never ever used, and I probably should be using it, especially because I have curl naturally curly hair, which I always end up straightening because I can't stand the way my curls sit. So I never use it and I probably should, and that is a leave-in conditioner. And this is something that came in the Ipsy bag and it is called Pure Brazilian Miracle Leave-In Conditioner with Carotene, which I have been using a carotene um, shampoo and conditioner recently from Tresemme and this goes perfect with it. So if you can see this, this is the, it says, yeah, I think I got that upside down. No, nope, it's right, pure Brazilian. And it, then of course it says miracle here. So this is really cool. Um, I used it today after my shower and I added it to my natural hair and after drying it and going through all the steps and then I added this in and I'll just say that it made my hair really manageable, really soft and it made me like so happy that I could style my hair today. And uh, normally it's quite a feat to get nice looking hair for me as I am very frizzy and curly. So a definite plus, like I'm really happy with this. I think I'm actually going to order a full size bottle of this. Okay, now the next thing that I got, and this is really awesome because I don't know a lot about um, bronzers and blushes and stuff like that. I'm still learning those things. And the good part about Ipsy is you can go in and you put in, by the way, hashtag not sponsored. You can go in and put in like your skin tone, your hair color, all those things. And then they find makeups that suit your colors. And so I put in, of course, that I am fair skinned, fair skinned. And then of course I have brown to dark brown hair. Um, and so this time around they gave me a bronzer and this is called Satin Taupe. And it is gorgeous. It's by Beauty Basics and it is gorgeous. And I just, I, I've never really like known what to do with these things. And so I went online and I looked up different things that you could do with this and how to apply it. And so today I just did a light bit to the cheekbone, blended it up in and into the hairline and then under my jawline um, because I do have something that is inherited and it is this 
thing that sticks out under our jaw, which I absolutely despise. I hate it, but it's just part of who I am. So it's great for putting under here because it says that it helps kind of disguise that. How awesome, learning something new. So I really, really enjoy this color. I would swatch it for you, but you really can't see it on how dark my skin is here. So I'm gonna give it a try, but this is, this is the color you get when you do it. It's really beautiful. Let's see if we can get it to swatch for you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I love the way it looks, like it's gorgeous. And so blending that into the skin has been like amazing. So that is by, like I said, Beauty Basics. And then another thing that I got, which this is, this goes in hand in hand. And um, this one is the eyeshadow blending brush. And this is from, I think it's called Lottie London. And let's turn this around. So this is from Lottie London. Let's see if it will focus, there we go. So from Lottie London, and it is just your basic um, blending brush for eyeshadow. And so this was, honestly, like I think this is really soft and like really nice and everything, but I've, I have two other brushes that are definitely much better than this one, but I'd have to say it did its job, it did what it's supposed to do, but I think it was just a little bit too rough. Um, it kind of is a little bit scratchy or scrapey. And so I wasn't too happy with this one, but it does its job, <clears throat> especially if you're like in a hurry. <clears throat> but to go with that, I ended up getting from The Bomb, I ended up getting Hot Mama. And this is beautiful. I, I can't even, like you can use, the best part about these is you can use them as either a blush or an eyeshadow. And so there's your, color there and I got this like there's that let's make sure we don't get it in the same spot there you go if you can see that it's really pretty and I used that on my eyes today so it blends really well and so I put that on my eyelids today, which I'm really happy with. I am I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I've been seeing these all over online and I've just desperately wanted to try it. I just said, I really, really wanna try this, but of course it's never in my actual budget to try stuff like this. So it may end up having to squeeze its way into my budget and something else may have to come out because I think this is really workable and I like it. I'm not like, I'm not advanced like makeup wise, so I'm still learning. And I think that this is a great product because of the way that it's so workable. Like it was so easy to put on. It wasn't over pigmented. And I just, I loved it. I love the way it worked. And now my favorite product of the whole bag. And I am definitely getting some more of these because I never would have thought to do this. I have never in my life been able to wear a winged or a yeah like a winged liner um i just for some reason can my eyelids are not made for it i have like an extra bit of skin on my eyelids that always end up covering up any kind of wing or anything that i try to do and it's always been kind of complicated you got to have the brush like you have to have the pencil perfectly sharpened or whatnot but this one is a liquid liner pen like an eyeliner pen and this is from essence and it's a super fine eyeliner pen and it is waterproof. And I just wanna show this to you. So it's from Essence and it is gorgeous. And let me just show you the tip of this. If it will focus, there it is. So this is the tip of it and I have never in my life been able to do that. I have tried through high school. I tried when I first was in junior high. I tried so hard to make a winged look, even just the slightest little wing. And these are, and I guess I am definitely on the older side. So pushing 40 here, ladies. So I am super happy that I'm able to actually for the first time ever make a winged look and I love it. So I may get a little more bold next time and work this, you know, 
really well and see if I can't get a more bold wing on there because that is absolutely what I would love or even a really amazing cat eye. I would love to be able to do a cat eye and I have not been able to do that quite yet. So we shall see. But yes, my absolute favorite product in the entire um, glam bag this month is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen that is waterproof. And yes, so a definite going to purchase this again. So there you go guys, that is the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of October and I hope that you guys enjoyed that and if you're interested in ordering from Ipsy and you would like to try these bags out, it's I will leave the description or the link in the description box below and go check it out and I just want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me and coming and checking out my review of the Ipsy Glam Bag for October and have a great night. Bye.